Today, we're gonna learn how to make your streaming camera go from looking like this to this. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to 2022, and welcome to today's Timely Tuesday, where I provide you guys with a short piece of content in a timely fashion. And today, I wanna talk about how I get my streaming camera to look like how it looks right now. I'm recording this entire video through OBS Studio so you guys can see firsthand what my viewers see when they watch me every Monday through Thursday from 7 p.m. Eastern and on and Saturday mornings. There's a high possibility I'm live on this channel right now. Link in the description will take you right to it. But anyways, up until now, a lot of people probably edit their face cam through OBS itself or through Streamlabs, whatever software you're using. And the way I would assume most people are doing it and I have done it in the past, is by going into their filters with their camera source and adding a color correction as you can see right here and then from here you can adjust these settings however you like to get the look you're going for but i have an issue with this method and i have in the past until i learned this way to do it right now and that is the fact that these in software settings aren't really the greatest they are very very touchy less is more when it comes to these settings and the end result isn't always that great. For example, if I go to adjust the contrast just a little bit, you can see how bright it is getting by not even adding that much of contrast. And really all it looks like it's adjusting is the brightness, not so much the contrast. Same with the brightness. If you go to adjust the brightness, which it looks like we had just adjusted, it's not really adjusting the brightness. It's really just adding a fade to your camera. And of course there's saturation and hue, which speak for themselves. Those two settings aren't as touchy, but as far as the other ones, ones go they're they're they just terrible so anyways as you can see right above color correction in here in my filter settings for my camera i have apply lut 2 and you can add a custom lut to your video camera that you have inside of obs basically what a lut is is a lookup table and all this means is that it applies a color grade to your entire image basically with a click of a button now i'm pretty sure there are free custom luts people have made that you can download on the internet somewhere but i know a lot of you out there like certain styles as i do myself so let me show you guys exactly how you can easily make your own custom lut to get the perfect camera color correction that you please and to do that we need to jump into our editing software of choice mine is adobe premiere so if you have that lucky for you this will be very simple to follow along so i'm gonna go ahead and jump into adobe premiere right now okay as you guys can see we are inside of adobe premiere and you see in front of me i have a clip i have already recorded so this is probably something you should do before you actually open up your editing software so pretty much all you got to do is record like a five second clip three second clip of yourself sitting in front of the camera you don't need to wave or anything like i did just need a quick few seconds of your streaming angle so that we can color correct it real quick and then export that color correction to use in OBS. So I've already done it here, but I can kind of show you real quick my process that I went through. In the basic color correction, I made sure I adjusted it to my liking, make sure nothing was too bright, make sure nothing was too dark. Then once everything was color corrected and balanced properly, I went in and added my color grade, which is a specific style or look that you're going for. So for me, I like that more of a teal orange look that's pretty popular in the film industry. So in order to do that, I went into my color wheels. I added some orange to the midtones. So that would be like my face, my desk here, some of the lights. And then in the shadows, I added the blues and highlights. I also added blues. But some people choose to make the highlights more warm. Just personal preference. And the last thing I did was into this Luma versus Saturation Curves right here. And basically what this does is when I pull the ends down on either side, the one all the way on the left, make sure that the black are black so your deepest shadows are actually black and not like a blue tint or something like that and then same for the highlights I pull it down to make sure that my highlights are appearing more neutral and white and color balanced as opposed to super blue or super warm just little subtle touches that I like to make that probably no one would ever notice but at the end of the day I would notice and I like to go the extra mile and then after that once you have your color correction done your color grading done you've gotten the look that you want your stream to see while you are live you go up here next to where it says Lumetri Color, click those three dashes, come down here to where it says Export Dash Cube, click it, and it'll bring you to this finder right here. You can name it whatever you want. It'll export the type as a cube LUT. And once you have it all named, you click Save. I've already saved mine. So what we're gonna do is go back into OBS and we're going to apply it to our webcam. All right, we're back in OBS Studio or you're going to go back to your camera source. You're going to click on Filters. Once you're in your filters, as you can see, I have some in here. You can click the plus sign, apply LUT, 
and then you click OK. You can name it whatever you want. Then you're going to go into your finder and find where you saved it. Click on it, click open, and then it'll appear right here. Now, like I said, mine's already imported, so I don't need to do that. I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'll show you the before and after again of what it looks like without the LUT. And then I'm going to get rid of the color correction and sharpening as well, which I'll explain in a second. And right now you're seeing just the raw feed from my camera because I have a certain profile set right now to make it look this desaturated and no contrast and just pretty much washed out. And I do this on purpose because it gives me more flexibility when adjusting these colors inside of Adobe Premiere. But anyways, we'll go ahead and reapply our LUT and this is what we're left with doesn't look too bad now at this point you could probably look at this and say it looks good it looks done to me i'm gonna keep it how it is and you can 100 do that and it does look fine and it looks good enough to start streaming and he pulled off something that looks way better than you could ever do inside of obs studio itself but for me like i mentioned before i like to go the extra mile i like to be a perfectionist so here is where you can really use the in software features and filters to your advantage because like i said at the beginning of the video these are really supposed to be used in the most subtle of ways so let's go ahead and look at the subtle corrections i made with color correction as you can see it didn't do much it really just added a smidge of contrast originally when i applied the LUT, i felt like it was a little too washed out not enough contrast the blacks weren't dark enough for me so you just take that gamma down a little bit and that adjusts your darks of the image. I added a little bit of contrast because as we mentioned before, contrast really only affects the brightness, not so much the contrast overall. And the actual brightness slider right here doesn't actually affect the brightness, it just washes the whole image out. So once I got the contrast to my liking, I went down to the hue and adjusted it a little bit. I really didn't need to if I didn't want to, but I did just because I was just playing around with it. And once again, here we are. This is what the color correction has added to the image nothing crazy really when it comes to the in software features less is more so once it was all said and done this was what i was left with but i felt like the overall image when i went full screen was a little bit soft i wanted to be a little bit sharper so i went in and just add a slight amount of sharpening to the final image for my stream and here is what we're left with i'll go back to full screen voila this is the result of making your own custom LUT as opposed to making one in the software which like i said before never really turns out looking this good so go on ahead try this out for yourself i think personally this is the best way to color correct your camera for your stream but if you do not currently have an editing software where you can pull something like this off like i mentioned before you can search online pretty much anywhere free custom luts that you can download straight off of the internet so i hope this video was helpful to someone if it was be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already check out my live stream link in the description like i said there's a chance i might be live right now comment down below if you want more tips and tricks when it comes to obs studio and past that that's all i have for this one i'll catch you next one